If you've ever opened up your laptop to make some beats and ask yourself, where do I begin? Where do I start? Well, Scorch is the answer to that question. When I started taking music seriously and I started getting into bigger sessions with bigger artists, I quickly realized that the way I was working, it needed to change. I needed to update that workflow, that process, because I needed to be able to come up with sounds that worked really well together with solid chord and melody ideas on the fly. And it's a pressure that I still hate to this day. That's what ultimately got us to wanting to build a plugin just like Scorch that would have all the tools to help you consistently make new ideas from scratch with great sounds and great effects. And two years later, I am super proud to show you what Scorch is all about. We've never worked so intensely on a project. It's been hundreds and hundreds of hours from multiple people, from the best engineers, sound designers, the best computer programmers, graphic designers. They all came together to help make this plugin. And today I'm gonna to be showing you everything inside of Scorch what it can do for your production, how it can help you maximize your creativity, and how it will inspire you to push the limits of what's next. One of the first things that you'll notice when you open up Scorch is the graphics. We wanted this to be a calling card for producers. We worked with 3D animator and visual artist John Eisner to help design the plugin. If you watch Travis Scott's Look Mom I Can Fly, there you go. Then you've probably seen his work. He did the roller coaster scene at the beginning of the movie. We wanted to work in graphics to help you visualize what was actually happening in the plugin, to show you what was happening to the sounds, whether you're ripping them apart or putting them back together. So the graphics almost give you a lesson in sound design that I've never seen in another plugin. And speaking of sound design, let's hop into it. This is called Audi Season. Scorch is a sample-based instrument, and the whole process behind the sound design was really to create unique sounds without any processing. We wanted you guys to be able to open this up and quickly get to work. This is called Ice Age. You can just hold this forever. So we took what we were hearing in rap production today and put it into this beautifully designed plugin for rap producers. And we wanted to stay true to the genre, so we actually worked with sample makers and sound designers and producers in the industry to help bring that unique and modern sound to Scorch. We started by recording live and vintage instruments through a bunch of analog gear to give it those warm and rich textures and tones that I know you guys love. And we multi-sampled all the instruments so you can actually play these instruments and they feel really real because when you're hitting different velocities, uh, it's triggering new samples in the plugin to make it sound like a real instrument. So when I play the sound lightly, you get that. And as I play the sound more intensely, you get something like that. It helps you bring a real life feeling to the sounds. I went out and grabbed a bunch of different pedals that we used on these sounds to help bring that new kind of sound and texture. And then we also did some of the classics like halftime, reverse, and time stretching to really bring that processing and that texture of the genre to the plugin, help you really kind of get the sound that's happening in Atlanta, Toronto, and LA in your DAW whenever you open up Scorch. So the first category that I'm going to showcase today is combinations and combinations are evolving sounds that we layer together really textured soundscapes where you can just kind of hold a chord and it will just evolve into something new The next category I'm gonna to showcase to you today is piano and keys. We spent a lot of time processing these sounds so that they had that warm, rich, textured tone, almost as if you pulled it right off of a sampled record. Just take a listen to this.
That's one of my favorite pianos in the pack. It's called Blue Moon. It was recorded by sound designer Ashley Bates, and it's perfect when you play it with R&B and Drake style records. I also want to show you something that I haven't really seen in another plugin before. So a lot of plugins have wasted space. If I ask you the question, have you ever used, let's say, anything below C3 or maybe even anything ab uh, above C7? The answer to that is probably no. It's just kind of wasted space. So what we decided to do with the last two octaves, the last 24 notes in all of these sounds is include a usable bass that was curated to match the preset perfectly. So now you can hold a chord. And if you drop down to the last octave, you have a custom made bass sound that you can use with the preset. So now you can have a great chord progression like this. I can come in, I can grab all these last bass notes. I'm gonna make a copy of that. And as long as I drop them below C2, so on D2, this would be the last uh, sound in the preset and then it splits to the custom made bass. So now that we're on C2, I'm just gonna bring these up so it's right under. Now take a listen to this. What's great with this too is these are all uh, recorded at different velocities. So if you wanna bring on this sound a bit harder, just turn up the velocity. And now that bass is really gonna resonate and cut through in your samples or in your beats. Ultimately, this is gonna help you save a lot of CPU and ultimately time. You don't have to open another plugin to grab just a bass sound. I mean, obviously you can still do that if you want, but we have these built-in bass sounds ready for you to go whenever you need them. This is called Boogaloo Poppy. Shout out my boy Arsene, this one's named after him. Next up, I want to get into the synths, which is my favorite part of this plugin, the synth pad and the synth key categories. It's called Alpha Getty. Shout out my boy Alfie. These were recorded with a bunch of analog gear, uh, like the Chroma Arp, the Juno 60, the Memory Moog, and then some of the newer synths like the Moog one behind me. Just like a bunch of the other sounds, these were multi-sampled, so when you're playing the different velocities, playing this really light, the harder you get, the more aggressive they'll sound. With the synths and with the pianos, also the strings, we ran them through a bunch of different processing techniques, including a bunch of new guitar pedals to give it a 2021-2022 texturized sound that we're hearing right now in the samples and in rap music. Now to the strings, the live strings that were recorded by my good friend Aaron Paris. We recorded them at different velocities again, so as you're playing them, the more aggressive that you get with that velocity, the more aggressive the sound will sound. Similarly with the live guitars that we recorded, we recorded them at different velocities and we also added some real life playing to them, some noodling to really help them evolve and come to life in your production. A 
I love that preset. You can basically just hold those guitars and they'll go on forever. The guitars were recorded by Aaron Paris and Harag, my good friend who actually worked on the Octave Deluxe expansion pack with the guitar sounds. Those sounds actually were recently on Baby Keem's album with Kendrick Lamar. Top of the moaning to you for that. ran these guitars through a bunch of different pedals to get some really unique textures and tones. Next up is the chord generator and I'm so so happy about this one because all great sounds they need great chord progressions. Scorch features a custom built-in chord generator inspired by the most ear-catching chord progressions in rap. R&B, soul, gospel, we got you all covered and it is definitely a tool to help you quickly, rapidly create new ideas from scratch. The first thing you'll see when you open up the chord generator is the four different categories. We have dark, billboard, vintage, and R&B. So all you need to do is pick a mood or a vibe that you're into today, turn on the chord generator, pick a random preset, and instantly your MIDI controller is now populated with a bunch of curated chords and different variations for you to use in your production. Look at how easy this is. <laughs> Literally one finger is creating those great chords. And then if I want, I can switch to the next preset. Same, I'll use the same notes, watch this. That's a whole new opportunity to make an entirely new beat. I'll switch it again. Let's see what we get here. Same thing. I'll just hold that. That's how easy this is. I like to call the chord generator the idea generator because as you just saw there, you can quickly kind of hop around and instantly make the foundation of a brand new track and something that you wouldn't have naturally gravitated towards. And I almost like playing it like an MPC, mixing and matching all the different chords together to come up with something uh, that I wouldn't have naturally come up with. Next up, we have the built-in effects. Also really proud of these because within every genre, there is effects that define it. And with Scorch, we wanted to include those important effects in the heart of the plugin. I'm going to get into specific effects in the moment, but all you need to do is turn this center dial and instantly your sound is going to morph into something new. So every sound inside of Scorch comes with 10 custom curated effect presets. So instantly it kind of like 10 X's all the sounds that are inside of Scorch. Uh, usually you need to open up a bunch of different effect plugins to make your stock sounds stand out and become unique. But with Scorch, we did all that pre-work with the effects in the center dial and you have that extensive built-in customization to fine-tune anything that you hear and save it as your own preset. The main effect inside of Scorch is this beautiful granulizer. I'm not gonna go too deep into all the knobs and what they do, but to sum it up, the granulizer can give you effects and textures that you hear in a lot of today's production, plus it gives you some really happy accidents. Let's say I wanna take a piano and I wanna almost time stretch that uh, sound, uh, make it sound more lo-fi, I can turn on the granulizer, and if I fool around with the hold and the fade here, I can slow down the samples to the point where they get really crunchy. Like, listen to this. Do you think it started like this? And you can get it to slow down as much as this. Now, I know you wouldn't necessarily maybe use that, but if we turn up that hold and fade, we get that really lo-fi sound now. Then the next thing you could do if you wanted, you could quickly switch the reverse. See that, the speed? Um, so a lot of this stuff you can automate to come, so come up with some really cool ideas. Again, I'm just gonna show you that because that's so cool. We're gonna be holding this. And just by turning the speed there, I instantly reversed it. So you're gonna be able to come up with a whole world of effects. Let's say you wanna rip it apart. Uh, I can quickly go and find a preset that will actually do that for me. And so just take a listen to this. That's that same chord that I was playing before. 
when you turn the granulizer on, it rips it apart and you can uh, change how fast, how quick that is, uh, how time stretched that can do that. So a lot of great uh, and experimental ideas I think are gonna come out of this one effect. Next up, we have the custom built delay and I love this delay. You can have it linked, um, but you can also separate the channels between left and right, which I think is really, really cool, especially when you wanna really open it up and bring some stereo field uh, to your production. So let's just say you have a synth sound and you wanna like take it to Astro World. what you can do is you can actually automate uh, the feedback here. So you can have something that sounds like this. Quickly, you can kind of get that sound. What you can also do is you can split the left and the right channels to do different things. So on the right channel, for instance, I can turn the decay time to uh, half triplets. I can turn up this feedback and turn up the wet dry, whereas the left, maybe I'll turn down the wet dry and turn down the feedback. I also have it on a different decay time. So now when you play something, you get it kind of bouncing around your headphones like this. And if I want to quickly change that, I can. I want to add more feedback. Anyway, so you can really get uh, creative with the delay. Scorch also comes with a filter and LFO to help bring movement to all of your sounds. The filter includes a low pass, a high pass, and a band pass setting. It also includes a cutoff and uh, resonance knobs. And in conjunction with the filter is the LFO, and the LFO features sine, saw, square, and a random setting. And it can be tempo synced or free flowing and has frequency and depth to help you really dial in the amount of LFO and movement that you want to apply to your sound. And also the random setting of the LFO can be used to bring some noise to your sounds to give them a really lo-fi texture, especially when it is paired with some of the time stretching that's happening in the granulizer, you can get some dusty and dirty sounding textures. So that's it, that's Scorch. We've been working on it for about two years. I know that this video was a bit longer, so I really appreciate you sticking around, but there's just so much to show you. So many tools that I think will help you maximize your creativity and help you finish more beats inside of Scorch. If you wanna check out Scorch, it is on sale right now. All you have to do is click the link in the bio below the description. Go check out Scorch, let me know what you think. I'm gonna be back with some more tutorials and stuff to show you how to use it in your production. We really appreciate the support. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel and we'll be back soon.